In this tutorial, we will use two images. The first image is the cosmic background. A space scene with bright and dark nebulas, glowing gas and stars, is more appropriate for this kind of effect. The image used in this tutorial is from NASA, and is available for download on unsplash.com, using the link that is provided in the tutorial description. For the second image, I recommend you use a side portrait photo. The subject should be photographed against a monochromatic background, to make it easier to extract it in Photoshop. The image used in this tutorial belongs to Kimson Doan, and is available on unsplash.com. You can find the link in the tutorial description. Begin with loading the space background image in Photoshop. This image from NASA, shows beautiful glowing gas of various colors, as well as dark nebulas. This is the kind of background we need to use. Now, let's add the portrait photo. Select File, Place Embedded, from the menu. Load the portrait photo, and place it over the background. Resize it and reposition it to your preference, and double-click to confirm. Now we must remove the background. Photoshop and Photoshop Elements provide a range of different tools, such as the Quick Selection tool. In this tutorial I will use the powerful Subject Selection tool, available in the latest Photoshop versions. This tool does an amazing job. Click the Layer Mask icon, to mask out the background. At this point, we'll use an adjustment layer to darken the portrait. You can use the Brightness and Contrast, or the Levels Adjustment Layers. In this example, I'll use Photoshop's Exposure Adjustment Layer. Check the box, to activate the Clipping Mask option. Go to the Properties panel. Move the Exposure and Gamma Correction sliders, to darken the photo to your preference. Since this is an adjustment layer, you can change your settings again later. Now I will add a photo filter adjustment layer, in order to warm up the tones. Again, don't forget to check the box, to activate the clipping mask option. Move the slider to taste. In the next step, We'll apply successive gradient fills to the layer mask to hide certain parts of the photo. First, we must click on the layer mask, to select it. Then press G, to activate the gradient tool. We will apply successive gradient fills, that fade from black to transparent. You can download and use the handy mask gradient fills, available for free on PanosFX.com. Make sure the mask is selected. Then click and drag, to apply the gradient fill. You can retweak the settings of the adjustment layers, at any point. We are almost there. Now we will add a flare, to make it more beautiful. I'll create a new blank layer. I'll load my sparkles and flares brushes. They are included in the complete Panos FX package, and in the Crystal Balls and Bubbles Photoshop actions. I'll use the first brush, to add a beautiful sparkle effect, close to the edge of the woman's forehead. That's it. As you see, it's not difficult to get this effect done. And the results are impressive. Thank you for watching.